I can't lie. This was one of the most infuriating videos I have seen in a long time. You support Hamas, do you not? I, Senator, oddly enough, I'm going to say thank you for that question because it demonstrates the purpose of our hearing today in a very let's, effective way. Let's start first way. with a yes or no. Hamas is a foreign terrorist organization that I do not support, but you asking the executive director of the Arab American Institute that question very much puts the focus on the issue of okay. hate in our country. Well, well I, got, I got your answer and I appreciate it. Get shit on. Get shit on with calm, reasonable responses. It's one thing to have a disagreement, but it's a totally other to just be obviously such a loser. I don't talk about politics on this channel, or at least not in a serious way. But every once in a while, something comes up that's funny. They're eating the dogs. Or that really just pisses me off. I want to make it clear that this opinion is coming from somebody who is not on the left or the right. I see good and bad on both sides. And, and to be honest, I think that we need both sides because that's what life is. The duality of life, yin yang. It's very complicated, but it's also really simple. That's neither here nor there. What I want to talk about is a situation in which one person is trying to have a conversation built on fixing an issue. I've been married for about eight years now. And trust me, I know exactly what this is about. <laughs> This is Senator John Kennedy during a Senate hearing about combating hate crimes, speaking to the executive director of the Arab American Institute. You, you support Hezbollah too, don't you? <laughs> Again, I, I find this line of questioning extraordinarily disappointing, Is that Senator. A no? That you yes. have you have Arab American constituents that you represent but, but in your a, great yes, state. Yes, ma'am, I understand that, but is my time's limited and I apologize, but is that a yes or a no? yes or no question to do I support Hezbollah? The answer is I don't support violence, whether it's Hezbollah, Hamas, or any other entity you, that invokes it. You can't it. So bring no, yourself sir. to say no, can you? No, I can say no. I can say yes. But what I haven't. can say is you just your line of questioning. Do I don't know who this guy is, but I think what we can say is that he stands for the old ways of doing things. The people who have their heart filled up with hate, people addicted to power, and people who like their nipples clamped and to be spanked while wearing a diaper. And he probably wears a diaper anyways, but. Do, do you Senator. support or oppose LeBron <laughs> and their hatred of Jews? I mean, look at this dude's hair. His glasses are ugly. His tie is ugly. This young lady looks like she's prepped. She looks ready to go. She's got the nice little woman's suit jacket on. And the amount of patience this woman shows is remarkable if it was me i would have stood up out of my seat and said i object even if there's nothing to object to i would have thrown one of those little water bottles at his head again i'm going to emphasize iran hezbollah hamas none of them is going to you, this you discussion can't bring yourself to say no sir you? i don't support it's real simple excuse me i'm gonna Ian, if i may no, no, as a muslim no. woman as a muslim woman sir i'm going to tell you i do I, not support iran but what i will tell you, you is that uh, this conversation I, i'm running out of time i'm okay. sorry it's funny because this is a big reason why it's hard for me to take any side in any election throughout my entire lifetime, basically. It's so obvious that these are little kids in grown adult bodies who don't want what's best for the country or best for the sit any situation they're talking about. All they want to do is win. I see this even in day-to-day -day conversation with people at dinner parties. I, go to, I don't go to dinner parties. But in all types of social situations, you can see these types of people. And it's so rare to see something like this lady is doing where she's actually being calm, collected and responding in a way that is calling out his hate while also getting her point across. Um, you, uh, you called our decision Please. to cut funding. You called our decision to cut fund. Well, first, what's the United Nations Relief and Works Agency? It's uh, UNRWA, which is yeah. the institution that exists to provide uh, services and aid to the nearly 6 million Palestinian refugees. And, and you called our, our decision to cut funding for them, quote, an incredible moral failure, close quote. That is absolutely correct. But again, I would suggest that conversation and is about did, foreign we policy. we did that because nine UNRWA staff members were fired for, for actually helping Hamas on October 7th, isn't that the case? I, I don't believe that that's correct in terms of- Let me ask you please. one more time. You support Hamas, don't you? You could tell how flustered he is because he keeps talking over her like he like it's his dominatrix and he's in a, a real giddy mood. <laughs> you Sir. support Amra and Hamas, don't you? Sir. Please. I, 
I think it's exceptionally disappointing that you're looking at an Arab American witness before you and saying you support Hamas. You know what's disappointing to me? I do not you support can't Hamas. Bring yourself I do to not say support Hamas. You don't or support any... UNRWA. You don't support Hamas. You don't I was very clear in my support for Hezbollah, UNRWA. And you don't I support oppose... Iran. You should hide your head in a bag. Your time has expired. Uh, please. Senator John Kennedy. It is obvious how weak you are on the inside. You are a loser. Please, please, Ms. Barry, I'm going to allow you to respond to any one or all of those questions at this point. Senator Durbin, thank you very much for holding this hearing and for elevating the issue of hate crime. It's regrettable that I, as I sit here, have experienced the very issue that we're attempting to deal with today. The introduction of foreign policy is not how we keep Arab Americans or Jewish Americans or Muslim Americans or black people or Asian Americans, anybody safe. This has been regrettably a real disappointment, but, but very much an indication of the danger to our democratic institutions that we're in now. And, and I deeply regret that. And I, I do hope that my testimony today has been helpful to understanding the need to respond to hate. They didn't show this last part in that original video I played, but there is this footage of this guy looking absolutely flustered. He, he looks embarrassed and like he wants to run off the stage, even though he can't run and probably needs assistance uh, getting off the stage. Now, I don't know what the hearing was about. I don't know much about Hamas and Hezbollah. The only Hezbollah I know is a short little guy who's at UFC events all the time. But what I do know is that there are hate groups within every religion, within every sector, every culture, to attempt to envelop an entire culture, an entire race or ethnicity with that hate group, it just shows the level of intelligence a person has. And to see it on the Senate floor from a senator is embarrassing. Like a part of me is really embarrassed that I live in this timeline because I know in a few hundred years, as long as we don't fuck it up right now, human beings will look back at all these videos and all these conversations and things that we have and be like, what the fuck was their problem? Could they not understand how great their lives could be? What a blessing and what a gift it is to, to be alive in general, to live in a time where we have so much potential for growth and prosperity and it, it just, uh. Guess who's back, did I do that? Urkel when I'm rolling up fat OG.